Hey guys, how are we doing? So we're back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged series video, uh, continuing with Counseling Evil. Now, the first one did say it was part one of five, but I've looked, and it looks like there's only three parts, and I was going through the comments section on part three, and apparently little Karibo said that he is focusing more on the main story, which I don't blame him for, before continuing with side projects like this. So, Correct me if I'm wrong, please, in the comment section below, but I do believe there's only three Counseling Evil videos. So then once I've done Counseling Evil 3, I think there's other videos I've missed. Previous. Point them out to me, please, because I'm dumb. <laughs> and I will check them out. Um, but yeah, I love this. I hope we get more um, more darts, man. Takahata 101 and darts is just hilarious. Because we need to know, we need to see what... Um, Ah, oh, I'm terrible with names. The Bakura. Yeah, is doing with the other bad guys under the sea. Anyway. Okay. So, uh, I heard you used to hang with them, uh, whatchamacallits. You know, protagonists. Well, you're half right. Uh, My other self, he used to spend time with them. Oh, you got one of them alternate personalities, eh? Must be nice. Is, uh, is that very common? Come on, mate. One in <laughs> ten blokes have got a secret identity with magical powers. Most of them are just socially aware enough not to make it a big deal. Oh. You're joking. You and that Yugi fella are the only twats I know who are like, Ooh, look at me, everyone. <laughs> I'm a special snowflake because I'm occasionally possessed by a darker being from another time. <laughs> it's just very arrogant if you ask me. Well, I didn't. What's it like? That's amazing. What's what like? Being so bloody arrogant. Oh, look at me! I'm essentially bloody he-man, I am! <laughs> Dated reference. No, I mean, what's it like being friends with the good guys? They're not my friends. Maddox, my only real... I mean, I don't have any oh. friends. Come on, you're gonna have some funny oh. stories about Yugi and Joey and Thomas and Angela? Who the bloody hell are Thomas, Thomas and, and Angela? Angela? Isn't that what they're called? Those two other guys that don't really do anything, but they're, you know, always around. Twisted and Taya? No! That doesn't sound right. No, they're not even worth remembering anyway. Oh, wow. Imagine being so insignificant in the grand scheme of things that people don't even remember your names. You've got a point there, Andrew. My name's Alistair. Are you sure? No. I oh, God. I a funny story about hanging out with Yugi. Once upon a time, there was a little boy called Yugi Moto. And he was a special little boy. See, he had a shiny millennium uh, item that enabled him to win any around. game he played, no matter the opponent. And everyone loved him because he was an adorable little ball of fuzz that you just wanted to squeeze until his head popped off. Right. Meanwhile, another boy in an identical situation, uh, let's call him Theo, also had a shiny millennium item that granted him unnatural abilities. But nobody liked him. In fact, even when he oh, made dear. friends, they abandoned him to go hang out on an island. And then when he showed up on the island, everyone acted like they were best friends, even though they barely ever wanted anything to do with oh, him. No. And then one day in season oh, two, no. Theo <laughs> had to get rushed to the emergency room. And two. even though Taya and Tristan and a bunch of other people could have helped him, who did <laughs> they get to take the him to the hospital? Shots Bloody amazing. Grandpa! That's who! <laughs> So that's what it's like being friends with the good guys. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, look at me. I've got a tragic backstory <laughs> and magical powers. Lordy twatting dark. Lordy twatting okay, dark. Okay, says it's over. Yes. Time to get down to West Ham. West Ham. <laughs> this is why I left Maddox Evil Council to join this one. We don't just talk about trivial nonsense and laughable strategies. It's time to get stuff done. Nice. First item on the agenda. Who weighs the contents of my sock drawer? Heresy! As if we would <laughs> do such a thing. <laughs> Wait, what? Your sock drawer? Yes, Biakia. My sock drawer. Everyone who's anyone knows that my socks are my moist prize possession. My moist. And the act of he nearly laughed then. He was nearly laughing then. Bapuni Shaman. This is a big deal. This is amazing. We should definitely spend the next 20 minutes arguing about it. What's so important about the arrangement of a sock drawer? Man, come on! Everyone knows I like the Alpha Patel as my sock collection. Oh my God. Otherwise, collection? My whole world is thrown out of wiggity way. <laughs> uh, 
Yes. Yes. Don't worry, I'll bring him back when I feel like it. I just don't feel like it right now. What do we even do now that we don't have someone to lead us? Oh, we have someone. Someone who has experience in all aspects of villainy. Oh someone who can weasel their way oh into Yugi's good and destroy his group of friends from, from within. Yes, someone for the inside. Who will stop at nothing to see his enemies destroyed. Someone strong enough to hold this world in the palms of his hands and throttle it into submission. He's right. I totally forgot Zombie Boy was on our side. Oh, well, yeah! He could lead us. Finally, the recognition I always was wanted. Thanks, Bakura. Hero wasn't talking about. Don't worry. Under oh my, God. my power, this evil council is sure to accomplish a lot. Because the one thing us undead people are known for, it's our persistence. Listen, you bloody nincompoops. I was talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I love Darts' voice from Takahata. It's so good. Oh my god. Like, wow. So there's a part three, and then I have missed some. I can't remember off the top of my head. You guys have reminded me in the past, and I'm a moron. And I forget, and I don't mean to forget, but I forget, and I'm sorry for forgetting, but yeah, that was so good. And then, oh man, because it makes me wonder, when I'm saying straight off the bat, it's a five part, he knows where the little story's going. Because, <laughs> was it Bandit Keith at the end of episode one? Yeah? Um, he's gone to train with Bandit Keith, <laughs> of all people, in America. <laughs> So God knows how that's going to uh, turn out. And now they're being led by Zombie Boy with Darts being in the Shadow Realm. Thank God he's not dead. <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> I love it when they point out the things that they did in the TV show. Like, the Shadow Realm was never a thing. <laughs> it was just totally made up for the, uh, the Western release for it. Oh, just so, so good. So yeah, that was awesome. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. 
What do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos. And I'll see you guys. Yes, Yu-Gi-Oh guys. Next time.